Peace, 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 love, love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding, understanding, wisdom, standing, compassion, love, everything, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always taking time out of your busy days, your busy schedule, your beautiful sleep to watch my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. You feel me? I want to sing a song. I want to sing a song. There's two songs in my head. God has been good to me. The universe has been good to me. And I hope that God is also being good to you. The universe is being good to you. Um, today's message is very simple. It's, I don't know if I said grand rising. If I didn't, then grand rising. The way you're rising to the top, okay? The way they saw you yesterday, today they're going to see a different you. The way they saw you yesterday, today they're going to see a different you. But you got to put in that work. You got to do it. So today's, um, by the way, if you happen to see this, it's not dirt. It's not dirty. It's just, I have paint. My nail, you know, I was growing my natural nails. I cut, I cut a couple of days ago. I cut this one and this one. It broke. I was washing. I hand wash a lot. That's why I don't wear fake nails. So this one broke. And that's why I have this, you see this black thing, just in case I'm talking and y'all see it. No, it's just, it's blood. Yeah, that nail broke. I was washing it. It broke. So today's message is how, I wrote it down. It says the key, the key to breaking generational curses. The key to breaking generational curses. What do I mean by generational curses? I don't know what it is in your family, but we all know that every family got something, okay? I want you to pay attention. Go back to your family, just maybe your mom, your great, you know, grandma. I know some of you didn't meet your great grandparents, but you've heard stories, right? Yeah, great grandpa, he, he was a, he was a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm, man, my uncle is a hoe. Man, yeah, my uncle is a drunk. My uncle is a drag addict. My auntie is this. My aunt, we, we say all of these things, but not realizing that this is something in the family. There's always going to be one person that God will choose, that the universe will choose to break this curse. In my family, I'm the one. You know, I, I, I peeped it when I was young. And I think when I was, after, after when, I'm in my, when I was in my 20s, that's when I, you know, I, I started realizing something is, something is going on in my family. And when I became a mom, I looked at my son in the eyes and I said, no, no, I can deal with it. But I, I, when, when you look at the innocence in, in, in the eyes of the, these kids, our, our children, our babies, I said, no, I can't let my son go through this. Not knowing that I was the chosen one in my family. I am aware of it and I am working on that. And I, I know I have broken it to set me free and my son free. What is generational curse? Generational curse is something that is dragging the family down. There's a hurt. You know, when you hurt somebody, you know how they say hurt people hurt people. So from great grandmother to, to grandma, to mom, to auntie, to uncle, to, to you, then you pass it on to your kids. It, it's, it's a hurt. It's, it's, it's hurting. But there's always going to be that one person who's, that's willing to break this curse. So basically, how to break or how to stop generational curses is by you not repeating the hurt that is in the family. Do not use that as an example and say, Hey, I, 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 my mom, my daddy was a crackhead. So that don't mean you have to be a crackhead. My mama was a, a H. Oh, that doesn't mean you have to be like that. You know, sometimes God, the universe allow us to experience certain things to, to make us better people. I use me for an example. My mom didn't raise me. 
my mom didn't raise, she gave birth to me and gave me to my grandmother. My grandmother raised me my whole life until I was 15 years old and came to the United States and I never had the chance to see her again. So my grandmother, my, my name, everything about me is, I'm my grandmother's child. When I did my past life regression, got my Akashi record read, that's when it was revealed, like, I signed our contract back then, that my mom was gonna birth me, but my grandmother was gonna be my mother. It, it all made sense to me. Even though I made that choice and my mom, my grandmother was my mother, everything that a mother would do, my mother, my grandmother did for me, right? But sometimes when I do, when I misbehave and I get a little pow pow, I would cry like, I want my mommy. I, I, I was still, I felt like a part of me, I felt like life would be better if my mom was raising me. I don't know if y'all can relate, you know, if your, your grandparents raise you or a family member, anybody besides your mother right anybody outside outside that motherhood like your mom your dad didn't raise you it could be your auntie your uncle somebody else raised you whenever things don't go your way you always think in your head that it will be better if your parents were around because i was young i got my, my ass whooped a little bit and i'm thinking if my mom was there she wouldn't hit me you know it's all baby talk i still kind of miss my mom when i see you know, like uh, my friends and their moms. I still, I, I, I wanted my mom. I, even though I spoke to my mom on the phone, she buy me stuff. You know, she was taking care of us, but she didn't raise me. I could have used that as an example growing up and say, hey, I'm a mother now, so I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be there for my my son. And I'm gonna use that as an example. Like, yeah, my mama didn't raise me. My, my grandparents raised me, so I can do that. I can pass that hurt. Because I did feel like my cousins, right? My cousins have their mom and their dad. And me not having my even though mine was my grandmother. I sometimes I get I feel sad. You understand? I I feel like I'm I lost something. I wanted I wanted my mom. But maybe if my mom had raised me, I wouldn't be as wise as I am today. It's just a saying. I could have passed on the hurt from not having my mother. I could have passed it on and, and neglect my son. But because I, God made me feel that, that pain, like, you, I want my mom, I, want, I, want, I don't want to leave my child, I want to be there for my child. Even though I was not neglecting, my grandmother was my mother, but as a child, I felt like that. And God has blessed me with a child. So the universe is watching me to see if I'm going to pass that hurt on because I felt some avoidance like oh my mom don't want me and my dad being a truck driver he'll be gone sometimes a whole year I don't even see my dad and when he come around you know get you a little change and you think he's the best dad in the world I could have passed that hurt on and said well I don't, I don't know how to be a parent because my mom wasn't there no that made me a better person that made me want to stay with my child even if I have to I don't want to say something bad, but whatever it is, I'm going to, it's going to be, my son is always going to be with me. I have to be a better person so my child doesn't go through what I went through. I broke that curse. It's, it's in my family. Yeah. I said, no, I'm not going to be apart from my child. We, I'm going to raise this child because growing up, I felt something. And I don't want my child to feel that. So that's the key. If you want to break generational curses, is you not passing that hurt on. They say hurt people hurt people. You are hurting. God allow you to experience this hurt so you don't pass it on to the next generation. And it always take one person to do that. I hope you watching this video, you are the one in your family to break that curse. I am the one in my family. I don't know about you. So this is how you stop generational curses. This is the key to breaking generational curses. I love you. Take care of yourself. Like the scripture says, do unto others as you want others to do unto you. Let's break, the, let's break this generational curses together. Let's be better people together. Let's raise the consciousness there um, together. Let's raise the awareness together. I can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. On the collective, we have to help, help each other.
thank you i love you and always kiss on yourself